and welcome to Pack and Chat Part 3. We are continuing the process of packing orders. These are all customer requests. So let's just get right back into it. This order is going to Estella in Florida. Thank you for your order. We have a confetti blossom and a rainbow. Hope you'll go check out part one at the very least if you are needing more information about these pack and chat situations. We have a rainbow mint chip and unicorn dreams. Let's see what else we've got going on here. We're going to put in a unicorn sweet treats, wax melt clamshell. And then on top of that, I'm going to put in a Gone Wonky Flannel and Amber. Now the Gone Wonky soaps and products, they're just ones that didn't quite make the cut. They didn't quite live up to my standards. They're safe, they're great to use, they just either have maybe an air pocket, they're a little underweight, etc. So I marked them as Gone Wonkies instead of just not selling them at all. So that's the story with those. I'll put in just a little bit of shred here and I think I'm going to put the invoice in here lower so that it can cover up these soapbox windows. Gives it a little bit of a barrier from the shred and also from the scents of these products. So we have a cotton candy ice cream. I think I'll put in these first. A Rainbow Pear Bears Wax Melts. The Fruity Loops Macaron Wax Melts. So you just another little layer there of shred to protect those. And then in with the cotton candy, cotton candy wax melt brittle. I'm going to put in a Sweetly Clean soap sample and a Blueberry Lavender Wax Melt sample. There was a, there was a time during the uh, wax melt making that I just kept pour, putting the wrong fragrance into the color. So I'm not sure what that one was supposed to be for, but I just kept putting in the wrong fragrance and I did it twice so I had to make samples not the wrong fragrance let me think of what happened it, it was the wrong fragrance on some of my wax melt samples for that I think I just miscolored it I wasn't needing the purple for that particular one and then I'm going to put in the business card so I quick made up some blueberry lavender added a little bit more color to make it match better. It is so warm and steamy today. I'm actually continuing this on the next day. And if you wonder why I'm wearing the same thing, it's because last night was laundry night. It just so happens that I was able to put on the same clothes today. So here we have the first box and it's going to Florida. So this order is headed to Justin in Utah. Hello and thank you for your order. I think Utah would be a fun place to visit. I've been to Salt Lake City, kind of just passing through, and I've flown in there several times, but I have never just had the opportunity to explore, and I just think that would be so much fun. We're putting in two rainbow mint chip soaps. We have Two of the flannel and amber gone wonkies. That's all that's left are the gone wonkies. I had a, a whole loaf worth of those where the uh, soap really accelerated at the end and I went to uh, do some swirls. It just kind of left some marks. So we decided to put those as gone wonkies. We have a couple of the Fruity Loop sea salt soaps. And I don't want to set those on top of each other because they're a little bit, they stick up. Can you see that, how they stick up? So I'm just gonna put those there and then I'll probably 
cover that up a little bit. So then we have, let me think this through because we've got plenty here still. It may be an issue. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. All right, I'm just going to go a little different direction with this one, I think. So I move those two, the four soaps there. And then, let's see, I think I will put these lower and then try stack it up. Hopefully we'll all fit. Probably could put the Fruity Loops here on the end and then I will just have this whole section still. That's good. So yeah, it has been so wet and rainy here, so humid. So the air conditioner is really, I notice it's really working working hard to keep it somewhat nice in here today. I'm going to put the Huckleberry Hexagon Geometric Bath Bombs here in the bottom. Nestle those down in. I love this stretchy paper. It's so fun. Let's see. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Let's see. Where'd you go? There we are. Alright, so we have that. Alright, so those are there. We have two of the gnome bath bombs. Yes, I think everything will be fine here. Let's get some shred around these bath bombs. Get them all nested. These ones are really hard, but, you know, travel it puts a lot of pressure on the bath bombs. Much more than if they were just sold in a store. Oh, pull that paper bag up. Come on now. All right, that's feeling, that's feeling pretty good there. So, I'm going to package, protect these gnomes and we'll just get them all wrapped up nicely just a little extra protection because we know that those ones aren't the most sturdy they're pretty hard in general but there's a little spot right here that's just really weak oops so we're just doing the chipboard there's a scratch right there it threw me off so we're just doing the chipboard and the shred and then just kind of helps to keep it a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to put one here on top of the soaps and then this one I'll put here. We'll put it front in and then this should, yeah, that should just lay right there. So this looks like it's going to be perfect. The thing about the bath bombs is that they're more fragile than soap and they cost less than soap, but they take up way more space than soap. They're just awkward and they just don't, like, let's see how many soap boxes I could do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Bars of soap can go in one of these boxes, typically. And that's just the thing about the bath bombs. They just take up a lot more space. I don't think my shipping figured quite right for the bath bombs this time. So I'll have to make some adjustments. I'm having to make adjustments. I am just being just, I don't know, it's getting me all these fees and supply increases. My soaps are already at wholesale prices. So I have zero wiggle room on the soaps. They're just really luxuriously made. These are the It's Just Good Soap are more of the budget collection, but still at wholesale prices. So I have a lot of, you know, 
I have all these transaction fees and stuff because I'm not selling to you directly, you know, cash like at a farmer's market or something. You know, it, we are paying transaction fees and everything. So above all the supply cost increases and, um, you know, just all the fees and everything that's been increasing, I don't have any wiggle room to take that out of my soap. So... I'm trying to make some adjustments to make sure that we're more covered, but, you know, the price is unfortunately. I just can't go as high as what I need to because it would just be too ridiculous is what I say. So, I'm going to put in the Zippy and a Spring Meadow. And the invoice and the business card. So I do get commercial rates on my shipping that I pass on to you, but it has, those have really gone up too. I was just, I've just been so shocked packing these orders with this release and some of my fees are just for transaction fees or $15 for some of these orders and, and then, you know, the shipping and all that and packaging supplies. I've just been quite shocked with this release to tell you the truth and then of course every year at tax time the accountant and the bookkeeper are like well you're gonna have to raise your prices but we we really struggle not to. so I hope you understand if I make some more adjustments in the future oh the FedEx the FedEx person is here wonder what in the world he's bringing today all right, I'm going to go over to my regular packing station. I'm going to make a note of what samples that I put in and I'm gonna get its shipping label and then I'll be back for another. So this order is headed to Miami and it's going to Zandala. I hope I'm saying your name right. You'll have to forgive me if I'm not. And I believe they're from St. Martin. So, but the box itself is going to Miami. And so, I love Miami. I always think of going to Miami. That song by Will Smith. Oh my goodness. I used to listen to that when I lived in Florida. Tamiami. So, let's see. We're putting in a whole bunch of the zippies. And then we have, we'll see. I may end up moving one of those. So, we have three of the confetti blossom. I double check. Sometimes I can get away with a regional B to Miami or to Florida, I mean. But this one, I had to go with a medium. Double check. Yep, medium. I was like, one of my fears is actually uh, shipping things out with the wrong box. But the good news is, is that I just get billed back for any discrepancies. So that's good. It hasn't happened yet, but... Sometimes it does weird things and I find out I get charged different. All right, so we're going to put in, just kind of have to see how this is gonna go so far. So we have a sunshine and rainbows. Anyway, I love Miami. We made a trip back, a couple of rainbows. When I was pregnant with my Let's see, when did we do the Miami run? I think I was pregnant with my second kid is when we made the trip to Miami with my husband's sister. Oh my goodness, that was such a fun day. That was really spectacular. Oh, we have Unicorn Dreams and Sweetly Clean. And we ate at this Cuban restaurant. Mmm. Oh, it was so good. I wonder what in the world... I've looked it up since then, but I think it must have just been a moho. Um, it was like a fried chicken, but it was like super citrusy. Oh, I still dream about that. I dream about that. Let's see. So yeah, that Miami song. Why do I say my, my Miami wrong? Anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of shred down there to help insulate. Anyway, so that made me think of Will Smith. And my daughter and I, we started watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air last night. For the lack of anything better to watch on the television, that was actually pretty fun. Quite silly, but fun. 
So we put in two of the Fruity Loops wax melts. Oh, this is, this is going splendidly. We have the Cotton Candy Ice Cream Brittle. Boy face. And we have the Rainbow Pear Bears. I just love Cuban food. I love it so much. That was a great day. We got Cuban pastries too. I love the Goya crackers. They're those really thick, almost like a saltine, but it's like a, and they're kind of like bumpy, but the Goya crackers with guava paste that comes in the, the tin. Now that's some good stuff. My husband's family, they actually, his uh, maternal grandparents both actually grew up in Cuba. Um, they're from, their families were from, one family was from Spain and one family was from the Canary Islands. And they all went to Cuba and I believe that my husband's grandfather and also the grandmother, you know, one from each family, I think they were about the only children born in Cuba. If I have my stories right, I'll probably get in trouble with the family. Anyway, if I have that right, so we're putting in a poppies and peaches, one of those really fun rainbow ones, and a watermelon wax melt. I feel like I brought something else, yeah. And then an over the moon, which is a lavender and musk scent, and I love it. It's very much like um, a baby shampoo. Any who's it. They had an arranged marriage, my husband's grandparents, but they grew up in Cuba. So we, we are quite fond of Cuban food and uh, Spanish food. And my husband used to go to Miami a lot as a kid from Missouri because they had a lot of family there. Okay, so I'm going to put in the invoice and the business card. I just love these. They're just so shimmery and it, every time I touch one and move it, it just, it makes me so happy. Yeah, so this looks great. This turned out just perfect. Just perfection. Love it. So anyway, I feel like I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> I can't complain about the roof situation. Somebody's like, I suppose we're going to hear that in the packing chat. I said, maybe. <laughs> it was a situation. All right. I'm going to go get the shipping label onto this one, and it will be off to Florida. So this order here is headed to Chantel in Maryland. That's exciting. I'd like to hitch a ride and travel up there too. I'd love to explore the Northeast. Okay, into this one, we're putting a confetti blossom and unicorn dreams. And I just have to say, I get the nicest messages. We have a gone wonky, sweetly clean. I get the nicest messages in these orders. I just have to thank you guys for that. It makes my whole day. We have flannel and amber gone wonky, and then a golden oats. This one, mmm. Okay, so I like it, and it's really good, but I wasn't 100% sold on it when I first made it. I've had customers email and be like, this is amazing, and all of that. It just wasn't always, it wasn't just necessarily my scent. Well, I had one at my bathroom sink for quite some time and absolutely fell in love with it. So you get the oats, but it also has that amber. I think I have it as oats plus amber plus powder scent. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it sort of surprised me how much I like it. Okay, so we have that. And a rainbow mint chip. Rainbow mint chip and zippy were my last two labels to make. And let's see, I'm going to find it zippy real quick. Anyway, my daughter is quite into art and drawing. And I said, can you pretty please make me a black, like swirly, white, rainbow swirly thing? So that's what she came up with for me. And then I used just like a clipping mask and stuff. But I really struggled with this label. And I struggled so bad with this label. And I'm still not completely sold on it. I think it's pretty... 
she had actually designed a, on her program a replica of the rainbow mint chip stuff which was really cool and I kind of got in trouble for not using it but um yeah I'm gonna set that aside before I accidentally put it in anyway I got in trouble for not using it but it didn't it just didn't quite fit my label style and she understood that but I did kind of feel a little bit bad that I didn't use it we're gonna go in with an unscented kefir soap the unscented soaps don't sell as quickly, which is kind of to be expected, but you know, I love them. I remember when I started making a lot of unscented soap and kind of doing different variations, like this is a key for soap. And also with this release, I had um, calendula coconut cream. I do coconut and aloe. I do buttermilk and banana. I do buttermilk and honey. I do crema cacao. What else? I do just some unscented, you know, like I've done the the one with the piped pumpkins. I've done rainbows. I used to do sprinkles and twinkles. What else? Oh, I've done so many different things for the unscented soaps. And I was kind of, well, other people obviously made them. I felt like I was kind of blazing a trail and people were like, why would you make unscented soap? Well, I'm pretty sure it's caught on at this point because unscented soap is just amazing. You know sometimes how you just can't think when things are cluttered and you just have to straighten things up? Well that's just kind of how unscented soap is to me. Sometimes life and scent and color and all those things while we love them it gets a little cluttered. If that makes sense a little busy a little wild and sometimes you just need to grab that bar of soap that just doesn't have any scent it doesn't have any color you don't have to think about it you don't have to you just don't have to like react to it other than it's comforting if that makes sense now here's the thing I do not know ah he will go fine right there so we'll put the rainbow pear bears here we're getting snug as a bug in a rug right there and then we're going to put Mr. Nomi here I need to cut some more of this chipboard so I just thought we'd cut and chat <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to do all of these though I don't think anyway they're kind of flimsy I should have uh, gotten something a little bit stronger now this looks dirty but it's not dirty we always have dust <laughs> from this stuff and one time ages and ages ago I accidentally spilled wax on my cutter here and I have gone in after all this stuff but it remains so anyway so I find that cutting it exactly in half this way and then about almost three inches this direction makes the perfect size for my note. And then I've just been using a couple of them for that. This paper cutter and I, we've been through a lot. We are buddies and I do believe I am going to be sad should he ever fail me and which I kind of heard him the other day and I feel so bad about that. I tried to cut too many of these and this is like bent out so I think he's, he's almost done for. He has been a good and faithful servant. Let's just do that. Okay, so stretchy paper, chipboard, and then just wrap up Mr. Gnome here, and then eats. I'm not loving it. So, as one does on occasion, they repack orders. 
let's put these soaps off to the side here like so and then let's see we have the unscented will fit perfect right there and then let's see what do we want to do here all right let's put a layer of soaps down and now they need covered we'll flip them over that'll be fine that won't be a big deal and if I do that that's not going to work even still this this like so and then I should be able to put the bath bomb over there all right we're just starting fresh here for a moment rewrap this it kind of came a little bit loose so that'll be fine and then I'm thinking yeah let's do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the invoice in to cover these windows right there and we'll get that bear covered up so yeah we're good let's put hmm I feel like this is the better option. It just needs a little bit more to bring it level with this paper over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit more of that chipboard there, but it looks like this bath bomb still needs its nest made. That's why I love this stuff so much. I could just really get in and around things. I could pinch it together and it's going to stay put on its journey. Alright, now we're going to put down a little bit of this. Yes. That is acceptable. <laughs> I have a mess. You should see all this when I'm done packing orders. Woo wee! It gets a little wild around here with all this shred. It feels like a shred explosion has gone off. All right, so I did not get samples. I think all the talking causes me to lose oxygen and I start forgetting what I'm doing here. And I need my music. I'm a music person. I love to listen to music. So I'd rather stop talking here soon and <laughs> put on some tunes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a mountain spruce and a zippy. And then I have a fruity loop pour there. And this one will be ready to go. Now, my samples are not always ev even and equal and all those things. Sometimes I just, it just depends on what's ordered and sometimes what my mood is at the exact moment. I try to make things fairly equal and even. Alright. I'm going to put this label on and then I have two more but I think I may only be able to fit one more in this video. The last one is going to take me quite a while. Normally off video it would probably take me a solid 30 minutes so we'll see. Alright so this order is headed to Tyronda in Arkansas. Hello and thank you. Tyronda is one of my most amazing customers and I'm going to try to fit it all in this regional bee. She's so close to me that if I have to spill over into something else, it's still going to be cheaper than sending like a, a flat rate mailer. So, not mailer box. All right, so we have three of the rainbow mint chip soaps. And we have three of the sunshine and rainbow soaps 
we have three of the Unicorn Dream Soaps. I love that little image on it. Isn't that just the cutest thing? And then we have a Sweetly Clean and a Confetti Blossom. Let's see here how we want to do this. We have a couple of the Unicorn Sweet Treats. Wax Melt Clamshells. We'll do that. It's good. And then I need to put a little shred down for insulation. Not just cushioning, but insulation as well. We're going to put in, I'm not sure about this. Hmm, we'll see. So we're doing the Fruity Loops Wax Melt Macarons. We've got seven of those total. I think I even still have these in stock. I made so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, hmm. No, that won't fit. Well, lid won't close if we do that. All right. So we're going to put down a layer, shred. So at this point, I've been working on these pack and chats between yesterday afternoon and today. <laughs> it's already 1.30. I've been working on these for almost a day. My product productivity goes down quite a lot with the pack and chats. I usually average, some of these orders have been bigger, so I average around 30 orders a day. Um, so far in about a day of this, I'm not even done yet, will be about 14 total. So when the orders start getting smaller, then I start going up to like 40 or 50 sometimes. All right, so, hmm. Oh, we had one more die there. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I just wanted to double check that. So I will put another we're obviously not all going in here so i'm going to put in the cotton candy ice cream wax melts oh they're so pretty yeah that's looking pretty good wonder i don't think i mean the box will close but it's like literally right on them and it's just going to squash them so what I think I'm going to do, let me think for a minute. We're going to call this a box and then what I'll do is I'll have to go print another set of invoices so that we know what's in box A and box B. And so I'm just going to set this to the side for right now. Okay, so in the whole process of trying to get another set of invoices printed and everything, I have discovered that we do not have internet now. <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to put in the rainbow pear bears. Let's see. I think I will put the room in linen spray here at the bottom. So we live out in the Boontillies and we do not have access to amazing internet. In fact, to even have internet here, we had to have a tower put up and we get wireless internet. Well, there's two companies here that do wireless internet and we recently contacted Whale Tribe in last year. Um, this other one, because we'd heard the they're doing a little bit better. Their prices were a little bit lower. They refused to put a tower up in our vicinity, even though basically our whole street would probably road would would switch to them. But they refused. So right now, our only other option would be to try the beta for Elon Musk's Starlink, the satellite stuff, which. I'm not positive I'm a fan of all those satellites in the sky, so I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. I don't really like it. Um, 
But other than that, it's still beta. So since my husband works from home, it's still a little risky for him to be on a beta situation. So we're just kind of stuck right now. Okay, so since I can't print the invoice, I'm going to just have to quit here. Um, I am going to put in a Poppies and Peaches a slice of that bunt. And I don't know which one I'm going to put it in. I'm going to do a Blueberry Lavender Wax Melt and a Luscious Lemon Wax Melt. So I think I'm going to close out this video and I will do the last really big order on the next one. Now, big news update. We've decided that I'm going to only do one pack and chat video because this is just a lot. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of energy, um, takes time away from really pumping out a lot of orders. They're fun and I love doing them for you, but the 14 is a bit much. So what we're gonna do is next time we're just gonna take all your requests and then we will do a drawing and do like five or six in a video. So I just wanted to let you know that that's what we're going to try in the future. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch me pack a pretty big order with some bath bombs, then just check out the next pack and chat. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.